So welcome to my workshop. Kind of took over the carport because, hey Scout, because I needed somewhere dry to work for the next several days. And this is the only place that I got that actually has cover. All my tents and canopy covers, they all get blown away and mangled. So this is what I got for now. I am currently working on the solar panel mount for this cargo trailer. And I have the main mounting fixture where, where the panels are gonna be mounted to the trailer. So now I just need to kind of work on connecting them to the other side and also stiffening up the mount itself. Spencer's assistant has arrived. I don't know what that was. Okay. <laughs> Got a little drone hovering next to me. <laughs> this tripod is coming in real handy right about now. Coming in clutch. So since the mount does not sit perfectly flush against the roof of the cargo trailer because of the welding that he did, what we're gonna do is once he gets it all cocked and gets the washer and the bolt in there, I'm gonna go and press down on it while he tightens the bolts from the inside. And hopefully I can press down hard enough because this is really going up as you press that end. The one end is gonna be really... Yeah, well we just gotta fine. tighten one end and then press force press the other end down. Can you get it? A little more. <laughs> Can you? Push. Baby, I'm pushing. Push. You got it? Almost. Come on, man. It doesn't have enough to thread in, baby. <gasps> if we're already having this issue, how are we going to do the other end? Here, let's show you spots. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You're weak. <laughs> Okay. You're able to thread it? Yeah. So yesterday I got the roof mount for this solar array all installed. So today it's on to fabricating the arms for the solar panels, what they actually physically mount to. But before I do that, I just, for anybody that hasn't visualized what I'm doing here yet, I've uh, placed my little level up here, my long level to kind of give you a visual representation of what is going to be going on. So each one of these will have an arm hanging down or running across the top. With these arms, which they're not gonna be this long, at least the, uh, the ones hanging down on the side, because I'm only gonna have two solar panels, the length of the trailer, and then I'll have four more on the top. It's gonna to be 
pretty simple. So running down the road, it'll be folded down and tucked away like this. Then whenever I get to my desired location, I can have them fold out to their desired position to just maximize solar gain and uh, power output from the solar panels. So also with these, these arms, how they're going to fold out, I've actually just purchased the, the actuators for this. And all an actuator is, is pretty much just a push arm with a little electric motor attached to it. But they're gonna mount on the side and then just, whenever I'm ready for them to fold out, I'll hit the button on the inside of the trailer and the actuator will push them out into position. What's first today? It's on to establishing the actuator mounts. This one's rated at 600 pounds, just a little cheap one I found online. So we'll have two on each uh, side of the mount. So two on the bottom and then two on the top. That'll <laughs> suffice for my, my weight requirements. Oh my. So I did all my calculations. I'm roughly like 150 pounds for this bottom mount and a little over 200 on the top mount. So. Just one actuator technically should be able to lift this. It's gonna operate just like a awning on an RV pretty much. Instead of sliding out, this will just fold out. All right, let's see this thing in action. That's what she said. So I couldn't get a good enough connection on that generator plug. So I'm just going to rig it up to a 12 volt battery and my closest one is right here on the CRV, so. There it goes. Two hours later. <laughs> Look how much it grew. <laughs> there we go. So my actuator mounts are finished. So what is going to happen is this Unistrat is going to bolt to the side of the cargo trailer. And then obviously this will bolt to the Unistrat and then the actuator will bolt to that. So now to find the right position to mount that Unistrat. So if I mount that Unistrat too high, the solar panels will just stick out more which won't be the end of the world, but it also could change my position because I'm aiming for 30 degrees is roughly what I'm aiming for when fully extended. And if I mount it too low, then I definitely won't hit that full extension and it might make it a little bit difficult for the actuators to push out because they'll be pushing more vertical. So I don't really know. I guess we'll see once this all gets kind of put together if I put it in the right spot. Oh! What? Oh, you yeah, have bug in the eye. Oh! Dude! Oh my god, it's flapping around! Help! It's on your eyelashes now. Yeah. Okay, there's 
something still in there. No, there's not. Dude, this is just Unless not. You got like a fly leg or something. <laughs> anyway, oh my god, there's there's definitely a fly part in my eye. <laughs> I don't even know what I was gonna say. No. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna look really cool when it's all said and done. It's definitely way more in depth than I thought it was going to be. So, as is everything, my standard project. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Do one thing and they're like, oh, you know, it'd be cool oh. this and then this and then it compounds and. Like, this project initially was like, oh, it'll just be a tool hauler. And then it's like, well, why don't we add solar? And then why doesn't the solar array move? And then. <laughs> well, solar's always been there because I'm like, I need to charge batteries and do things like that. And I'm like, well, do I want to weld? Do I want to use power tools? Do I want to? Mm -hmm. So this is how it usually goes. But I think that's why everything ends up being so cool when it's all said and done. Hopefully, it just turns out as good as I think it is. It will. Who would have ever thought that we would transform our old little cargo trailer into this and then bring it to the mountains? Our old bedroom. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was going to turn into something eventually. I thought it was going to be like a little travel trailer type thing back when we first bought it. Right, but like an actual camper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would never have thought this. All right, I guess let's drill some holes. What? What I wasn't talking to you. What you were talking to? The camera. Flimsy sheet metal doesn't want to break loose. Might need to do a stepper bit. Good. I feel like this is a bad idea. Yeah, my only concern with this whole thing of trying to do a pull up or at least hang from it is these thin metal studs. So that's a, my only concern, but. <laughs> oh, come on. What? Your chin didn't even go above the bar. Oh my God. Can you not do it? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh so real quick before I lift that top solar array up into its peak position, I wanted to point out this gap right here in between the roof and the array and why it looks like it's at a slight pitch. Well, because it is, but that's for a reason. So the reason why I have that is because I am going to be installing a 270 degree awning. So it'll roll out and then there'll be a, a, an extra little awning flap that folds out. Not only this back door will have a shade covering, and also that entire side will be a shade. So that awning will fit perfectly within this little little gap, at least according to my measurements. So I got my two arrays lined up at 30 degrees and honestly, if I was trying to maximize my efficiency, I could go a little bit further than that a little bit steeper of an angle 
So let's see how high I can get that top array because obviously the bottom, I can drop it down as much as I need to. Now, are you worried about this thing like tipping over or something? Like once the panels are on it? No, once there's the things loaded down with right, it'll be heavy. Weight, yeah. yeah. So I was able to squeeze a few more degrees out of it. It's currently sitting around 36 degrees. I could probably even crank it up to 40 degrees, maybe. But I mean, it's more than enough than what we will ever need it for. So very happy with it so far. But once everything gets bolted together, I guess we'll see how it all works 